Hey guys, this is Talk Custom. Welcome back to the fourth video in our How to Be a Twitch Creator Broadcaster tutorial series. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about setting up different scenes and how to switch between them with hotkeys and then getting ready for stream after that. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at is our scenes box down here. Um, and you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, if you click the plus, you can add a new scene, and I'll call this table, and then you're going to get a blank uh, scene here. So you have to load in all your sources one by one. Uh, and if I wanted to add my overlay, I go to add existing, click that, hit OK. And I'd have to add all of my cameras and everything by hand. Um, and it's a really kind of inefficient way to do it. Uh, you can do it that way, but if you want it to look perfect, the way I do it is I right click where it says workshop here, and I'm going to click duplicate. And when you duplicate it, it's going to make a whole new scene that's exactly like the last one. Uh, so these won't look different right now. But this way I've got all of my alerts, gift bot, uh, my donation ticker, chat, the bit cup, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And now I can just move things around uh, without doing all that extra work. So if I want to swap my cameras, I can shrink this one down and then take my table camera and pull it out over here and blow it up. And now, I've got my second scene already finished with uh, my cameras being in their new spot. So now when I switch between workshop and table, it's going to uh, just swap those cameras and then I don't have to do anything else, uh, which is a great and really easy way to take care of that. So if I had three cameras, I could just do this again and duplicate that scene and then swap the cameras around a third time. Uh, if you want a scene for where you show your desktop here, you can duplicate it and then add a, uh, what is it called? A display capture to capture your desktop if you want to show pictures or Twitter or something on screen. Um, so that's it for that. Now, if we talk about transitions, when I switch between these, there's kind of a, uh, three millisecond fade so it's not like a snap and that's controlled over here where it says scene transitions um, if you make this bigger um, if I do say 2000 milliseconds it's gonna do a two second transition so it's gonna do a real slow fade which looks cool but that might be kinda slow so let's set this to a thousand that looks pretty good um, now let's say we want to hotkey these scenes so that we can switch using our number pad on our keyboard, which is what I do. Um, so if you go to settings, it's going to pull up this box here. You're going to want to find hotkeys. Um, so you can hotkey any element on your stream. Um, but the main ones that, that I use are uh, the one that says switch to scene right here. So if I do, this is my table camera. So I want this to be number two on my number pad and then when I scroll down to the workshop one I want to find the one that says switch to scene I'm gonna do number one here and if I hit apply and OK now if I just hit one and two on my keyboard it's gonna switch between those two scenes without having to click I use a wireless keyboard when I'm streaming so I can go anywhere in my workshop and as long as I have my keyboard I can always switch scenes. Uh, some people do this where they can control it with their feet, um, but do whatever works for you um, and that should be good just like that. So say something happens where you want to like hype up your stream or something really exciting happens and you want some scrolling text that goes across your screen that just says like hype overload or something. Let's do something like that. Um, I'm going to go to my workshop scene and add a new uh, text box, and I'm going to call this Hype. Um, so when I hit OK, it's going to give me a big window here where I can type in some stuff. So I'm going to type Hype Overload, uh, and a bunch of spaces at the end. Um, so I'll do a different font, oops, let's do like uh, Cooper. Where's my Cooper? There it is. Um, and if you do a really high uh, size, it'll show up a lot more clear. Um, so then I'm going to um, make this red. And then I want to add a outline to it so you can see it a little bit more clearly. Okay, that looks good like that. 
So now I've got this thing that says hype overload here. Um, and I want this to like scroll across, across the top of my, my overlay here so that people know there's something crazy going on. Um, so when you got the hype thing here, uh, I'm gonna right click on this and go to filters and then you can add a, a scroll to it. So it's gonna scroll across the top of the screen. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I want the horizontal speed to be, I don't know, something like that. Then I'm gonna hit okay. So now I've got some scrolling text, and if you want to do an announcement on your screen, or, you know, if there's something that you want to share with people, this is a good way to do this. Um, so I've got this hype overload thing uh, scrolling along here, and say I want to turn that on or off with a hotkey. I can go back to my settings and go to hotkeys, and then this is on my workshop scene here. So I'm going to go to my workshop, and then I'm going to find the one that says uh, hype. So if I want to show the hype one, I'm going to do, let's say, hotkey 8. And if I want to hide it, I'm going to do hotkey 8. So if you hit 8, it's going to toggle it on or off. And if I apply that, now when I hit 8, it should turn off. And if I type 8, it'll turn back on. So if something happens and you want to have a bunch of graphics show up, or emotes shower or text scrolling across, I can just hit the number eight on my keyboard and it's gonna turn that on or off. If you wanna add this to a different scene, you just go to your other scene, hit the plus, find the text thing, add existing, do hype, hit okay. And I'll, I'll have to place this uh, where I want it, just like the other one, uh, but you can, something that's really cool about this is I can, here, let's delete this. Um, I can right click on this and copy it. And then I can go to this other scene here and I can paste this as a duplicate. So it's gonna be exactly like the other one. So now if I switch scenes, uh, that hype thing is gonna stay there just like that, uh, which is really cool. Um, and I always make sure that my alerts are always on top because you don't want your alerts to be blocked by scrolling text or any other graphics. So alerts being on top is really important so that nothing ever blocks your alerts so you can always read it and people can see it. Uh, something else you can do with your transitions is you can do some different kinds of transitions where if I want this to slide, I can hit OK. Um, and now when I change scenes, it's going to slide the scene to the side. And there's some other ones you can do if you want to play around with these. Um, you know, just so you can add some new fun stuff. So that's kind of a cool one because it just blends the cameras instead of fades, but you can do whatever whatever looks good for your channel. Um, so that should be good for how to set up different scenes where you can hotkey them with your keyboard and switch between them. Okay, that's gonna be the end of this video. I just wanted to do a really short video to show off how to set up different scenes and how to hotkey scenes and uh, sources uh, to different buttons on your keyboard. Um, so I think we did a good job with that. Uh, the next video is probably going to be the last one, which is how to optimize your stream and get ready to go live. Um, so thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next one.